Cancer, welcome back to your July reading. Now, if you're wanting to make a booking, you can go to the website link directly below. Please look at your rising signs as well. Sometimes these videos won't relate to you um, and you will need to look at your rising signs. Otherwise, don't stress. Okay. Uh, you guys have a really odd energy coming through compared to the other signs. Now, I don't know whether it's because some of you will be having your birthday in this month. So big shout out if that's such. Okay. It's weird because it's like you've turned your life upside down and what you're wanting out of your life you completely know. Now, I have, as I've done with the other zodiacs, I've actually um, pulled some chakra areas for you to either focus on or that are going to be in highlight and these are places you know within your body that may or may not be working correctly okay what will be working correctly which is a kind of transitional stage i think you're, you're sort of stepping into your power you got your solar plexus okay now this is all about you being yourself, honouring what you need, um, not caring if anyone's questioning what you're actually wanting because it's you owning your power and feeling the right to actually say what you do want for yourself. Also, you're moving into this. This is reversed, which means you're going to be focusing on this this month. And this is all about the fact that... Um, you know what you want, you might not feel completely grounded or completely sure, but by you knowing completely what you want and standing up for it, you will be very grounded. But if you don't, you will not be and you'll have to work on that because you do need to stick up for what you want regardless of what others feel and this is the month that's going to happen. So lots is changing for you and I feel some dreams are coming true. Now... As I've showed the other guys, um, these are the new decks I'm using for this month. Change it up a bit and we'll see the messages that come through. So definitely I feel you feel more grounded. I definitely feel as though you're going to be fighting for what you actually want and not tolerating anyone saying otherwise. Okay, so interesting because as the cards were starting before with the chakras and the areas that are in highlight and will be coming into balance, the reason why you're so compassionate to other people is because you're physically being there. So you physically being there in your life will directly assist you with being compassionate towards other people but still power enough to actually know your truth and your path of what you've walked and stepping into it to a point where you were wounded, those wounds will be there forever, but the way you deal with them are now not wounds, they're tools. So now you can actually assist yourself and free yourself as well as help others. And people will find you to be very inspiring in the month of July. It's going to make you feel very emotional. So you're very grounded near the water and, again, it's your zodiac sign, really, ultimately. But you're going to be in your own element. You're going to feel very grounded. You may actually, with all the 
change actually want to have a moment alone to do some reflection but it's not in a negative way it's it feels like a moment just a moment to say and it feels like a quick shift in your mindset where you go somewhere and it might be at the beach it could be elsewhere where you're just taking your compiling and it, for some of you this is a very weird thing coming through Look, I actually speak two languages so this word come to mind um, in my head and it might be that you have a connection where you might be traveling or there might be a connection to a person um, but you're pulling together the information in your mind of what you already know and you're having an epiphany moment but it's not it's not that it's an epiphany to you it's more that you're right I need to deal with this and that's what I'm hearing and it's going to give you a great sense of liberty and a great sense of freedom and no warning you'll be in that's what I mean by literally a moment and it's bang I have the idea of what I need to do what I want to do where I'm going and this completely frees you to own your life of what you want and standing up for what you want and within this doing this hearing this and that you're going to feel really grounded but it's a decision, it's a turning point of a decision I'm feeling. <clears throat> okay, now, you yourself physically hold integrity. So while you are aware that you are a wounded person, have move through that energy, have worked with it, have dealt with all the dramas time after time and worked through it. It's through your inner integrity that you don't use this power you have here for ill. So this power you've had, the very fact that you had to suffer has made you hold the integrity to have that heart chakra open to have compassion for other people so perhaps your destiny was that at certain intervals in life which we all do that you had to temporarily in a sense learn some hard lessons which is now aiding you where you can now assist other people but it's it's because you're an old soul what you're learning is very large and it's it's really giving you a huge wake-up call in a sense of how strong you physically are now this moment where you're going to have for yourself, as I was explaining, you're going to need it and have it like that. If you remove yourself to have that one minute to yourself, your intuition will work. But if you don't do that, it's not going to. So you need to become grounded. And the only way you're going to do this, if you remove yourself from situations and from a mindset that you're still that you're still wounded because you are but now they're tools so swap that energy okay and that freedom might be physically freeing yourself from I do feel you'll do what you need to do in a sense of responsibility but the time out might be you getting grounded enough to give to everybody that you need to ground yourself in order to put the final piece of the puzzle together now I was counting here what was I counting there was a, okay you have um, angel numbers I selected and the ironic thing is it's 162 now that adds up to nine and in the traditional cut you know coming full cycle to a point where you feel fully whole you're nearing it you're so close don't give up that is a final completion of the final piece of the puzzle where you're going to have your heart's desires. But don't wait too long because it's right there. Okay. Couples, what have we got for you guys? So that's the energy that you guys will be holding. Massive, massive change. It feels as a crucial thing that you're going to be dealing with. Now, a lot of us through the year have really been dealing with massive change, massive purging to a point where you're going over old ground, 
you're thinking and compiling information, you're throwing out what doesn't serve you. And I mean, yes, traditionally every year everybody does that, but this year is very heavy, very heavy to the point where all of us are being realigned to a point where we're going to physically only be doing things that serve our higher good. And if it doesn't, then we're going to be taught hard lessons. But I think you guys have really worked through that energy quite what would the word be, uh, continuously. So uh, you guys are a bit further ahead than some of the zodiac signs. And that's not to say, you know, that any given one is um, more evolved or, you know, it's, it's not a great thing, as you would know, because you're probably thinking, yeah, I've had a pretty crappy few years. Um, but it's served you and it's going to, it's going to be an asset. So... Take heart. Now, four couples. What have we got going on? Okay, your partner is looking at this situation and is a bit worried. Now, they might be looking at you and aware that you're actually concerned and worried and carrying things, but they hold burdens inside, but they're a visual person and they can actually sense that there's things going on. Okay, with you, you have this card in reverse. I'll let you look at it and then I'll show you. Somehow you have the solution to a problem, but you're trying not to see it. So you need to kind of switch the roles here. You need to physically look at it from a different perspective. Because medicine, in a sense, is something to heal, something to fix. So, you know, looking at it from this perspective, you're looking at it from the highest possible point of view. But when it's like this, perhaps you need to look at it Perhaps you need to look at the potential or perhaps you're not looking at it from the same perspective as your partner. Now, between you, there is an offering. So there's an offering of perspective on both sides of the fence. But it's whether both of you are actually going to come to a point where you're going to communicate that. Again, your partner is very spiritual and it can be that they're going through a time of grief, but they do feel very grounded nevertheless. They uh, do have things weighing heavy on their heart and it can be connected to father. It can be connected to you as a father if you are a male or you as a person connected to strength, I'm hearing. You're trying to not get to a point where everything is becoming too much for you, but you might need to detox a little bit to a point where you're looking at something from a healthy viewpoint. It can be that you have a lot on your plate, but the suggestion is don't sweat the small stuff. Okay. So where both of you, I feel this intense energy, but it's sort of like no communication I'm hearing. It feels as though both of you on either side of the fence, you do feel like equals, but the energy that's coming through is that maybe on both sides of the fence there are issues, but externally. And I feel together both of you are trying to juggle these things and the balls in the air, and it's actually causing um, a lot of fatigue where you can't even really see the way forward, but you know that you're climbing and climbing and climbing and you are coming to a point, but it's becoming very tiresome. So it's actually suggesting and recommending don't sweat the small things. Just do what you physically can and what you can't. Just release and don't stress. Okay. Your partner has this card in reverse. Now, to me, something that was up in the air is no longer up in the air. I feel a decision has been made with whatever they're thinking of or dealing with. And I'll pull some clarity cards before I make any assumptions. But this is going to be a remedy. So, 
however the dynamic is within your current relationship at the moment the medicine might be truth it might be verbal communication it might be a healing scenario but it feels as though somehow you have the key to this solution that doesn't make any sense you're the solution you're the key okay okay you have between your energy and this is very odd okay so things aren't up in the air in your partner's eyes and your partner does have the key for good or bad the passion in a sense connected to this subject is diffused so it can be two things it can be that there was an, an intense situation that has come to a head and died down or it can be that the way you're looking at a situation there's no remedy or a solution to the problem now it doesn't have to be within the relationship it can be that both of you have external family dynamics going on that are directly impacting and this has been going on for quite a while I feel um, you know for some some zodiac signs where external situations are coming through I'll pull some clarities okay uh, what I'm hearing is there was one drama perhaps last month that you got over and then <clears throat> and then it was like there was another and as you were traveling through that energy within the relationship it was like and I can feel a very nervous stomach it's peaceful but um, it feels as though there was just one thing and then another thing so it can be two scenarios that come up and they're all connected to you knew it was coming I'm hearing but you didn't see it coming yeah okay so between you the energy I'm feeling don't worry about the card the energy is like there's offerings so you guys are communicating something you're working on something but the cards the way they're showing at the moment it's that you know it's like almost being blinded blindsided by things coming through just say what I'm saying it's like you're not seeing it coming and you've got trickster in reverse so it's like you did actually see it coming so you weren't kidding yourselves to believe and both of you at the same time it could be on one side a parent is unwell or yeah and, and for some this is the case and you as well may be um, feeling that you need to be the supporter or vice versa your partner being the supporter or it could be from both angles that there is external dynamics going on in a sense of stress but you're not tricking yourself you're both aware of what it is it doesn't define the relationship but it can impact the relationship because of the, the tiredness the stress we're almost through the air Mm. Oh. okay where it died down in your partner's eyes and you know spirit of air things were up in the air then they weren't it did come very quickly now it can be a, a massive change your partner has had at, at just a very sudden point and you saw it coming out of nowhere or an event happens where it's very big and it happens you know and no one was expecting it and you have the medicine back now you've got elder in reverse so this could be connected to somebody younger or somebody no longer being the elder
or perhaps not looking at a situation from a mature standpoint. It can be either or. So maybe you're not seeing the medicine in it, for good or bad. But... Okay. You're being asked to go into your dreams to assess the information and, and surrounding the issue, to go into your dreams and assess the information. Your ancestors are trying to communicate with you. Now, this can be the way you think on this situation that's going on in your life. Now, everybody will have similar things happen, but the way the zodiac directly relates to it will all be different. And I'll give you an example. Somebody said to me, how do these directly relate to everybody and at first I did question it I'll admit but the very ironic thing is I have several friends that are Scorpio for instance and in one given week every single Scorpio friend I had was drawing up a tattoo so you may become creative in a sense that you actually look at a tattoo. You might look at a situation connected to that art is magnificent. Maybe I'll create that. So it all directly relates to what is going on with you at the moment and how you are directly related to the energy. Now, if you're wondering what this means, you will know what this means because it's what is going on in your life. So your ancestors, who are part of you, who are part of your mindset and the way you view the world, even if you do or don't get on with them, they have given you an asset and they're asking you to look at this situation and to take the blessings that they gave to you, be it they're here or they're not, and to use those as tools in your life. They're always there. They're always speaking to you and they're trying to communicate to you to better your life and to guide you now there's going to be a sense of peace now this might be an olive leaf a sense of communication or a spiritual ceremony that happens they're asking you to find peace within the situation and again travel through your dreams you can visit them often that's what i'm being told okay I'll pull three cards for the couples and then I'll get on to the singles. Okay, it's so asking you to, within the relationship, to stay optimistic. There is going to be an offering. So it might be a peace offering if you're misunderstanding each other or it can be that you're coming to a point where you're going to get to that peaceful place even if there's a couple of hurdles and, you know, you're thinking, what way am I going? That's what I'm hearing. Don't stress because it's saying it is going to get better. So stay optimistic during this time. When? Not as soon as you think, but it is going to get better. It's going to be a process. So it won't be very soon. It will be a gradual process. But this is a one-month reading. So give it a little bit of time, I'm hearing. Be patient. Okay, you need to keep an open mind and you're not at the moment. And it does not involve you guys separating so that's what i'm being told okay so separation is in reverse you're not going to separate it's not about that i feel it's an external scenario you're not keeping an open mind but you need to or maybe you don't need to because you know it's directly not connected to the relationship okay singles what's going on with you guys if it feels all too confusing great <clears throat> I do feel a lot of you guys this month are going to get some wishes. Wow. 
Okay, you have a wish for your birthday. This is for couples and singles. But the reading is for singles. Okay. As I said in the general section, this will apply to you quite heavily on polling. Now, that moment you're having at the beach, wherever it be, where your favourite place is, can be at the home front, can be somewhere with loved ones, you're going to zone out. Now, think back. Something's going to trigger a memory. The time out, as such, is temporary. There is a loved one on the other side who is guiding you directly to a place, a person, a time or a memory. You need to listen to the memory. It's trying to tell you something. You're waking up though. You're changing and you're seeing the reality to this situation. And it almost gives you goosebumps, I'm feeling. Uh, or you're like, oh. A song has come in, that's why I was going nuts, really weird. Shine bright like a diamond. Now, you might actually be deflecting out how you're physically feeling inside. So it may, in the month of um, July, become a little bit more apparent of how you're feeling, be it for good or bad, the confusion. Don't deflect out. Do the work in a sense of actually having that quiet time, but I'm feeling it to be a very positive card. But again, the ironic thing is that you standing up for yourself with your solar plexus, you have walk your truth, own it, but it's in reverse. Why are you giving your power away? That's why you need this time. You come into the month like that and you're waking up, which is making you feel a bit nervous because you're realising some home truths. And then, you know, it's, it's starting to come out and you're thinking, oh, this doesn't make me feel too comfortable. And then you're not walking your path. You're blocking yourself. You can only free yourself. So ground yourself. Do that as I suggested. And you're going to be able to move forward. Okay. The person who's coming towards you is so tired that their intuition is off tap. So if you think that they're just going to be mind readers and they will know that, you know, you're all over the place, you're trying to process, they're not going to get that because they're very tired. Their intuition is off tap at the moment due to their exhaustion. They're not naturally like that, I feel, um, but they're trying to ground themselves as much as possible, but they're very tired due to some things that are happening in their life. Now, their self-worth, they don't shine it as bright, but it doesn't mean they don't feel that they have it. I do feel they know they have it. They're just... They're not as grounded at the minute as they'd like to be. Um, they've been very patient, I'm hearing. But who they are as a person is, you know, they could go to the stars and back. They're very strong. Uh, they're very caring. And they do generally have very good intuition. And like you, they feel you have integrity as well as they actually hold integrity as well. They've done a lot of learning. Okay, so now who do I think this person is? This, um, can be an Aquarius, a Libran, or an air sign I should say, but a Libran because this actually looks a bit like you know, the swords, the way, a judge. Her chakra is quite balanced, or his chakra is quite balanced, but they're focusing on their their um their work as per se in a way of them actually physically growing. Okay. That's weird.
there, I feel this person may have come out of a situation where they thought the person previously was their soulmate, but they're realising they're not. This can go two ways. And the happiness that they had is not there, as well as family happiness is also not there. Now, the second road it can go is they may have been someone who was previously with you. And as I said, the cards, I wouldn't directly completely connect because as I said, this person's mindset that I'm tuning to, their intuition is off tap at the minute. So I do feel that they will be open and grounded if you're straight to them. If you're not, their intuition isn't going to know whether you're fooling them or giving them. So make sure you've thought about what you're going to say if you are going to have a conversation with a person. Because of shining out their intuition, and it's very dark where they are right now. So you're physically going to need that. But you're going to need to do that so that they can actually see the light. Because I think they've been in the dark quite a while trying to have that clarity. You're going to have compassion to the situation. And I do feel that you guys have at some point actually had a connection in a soulmate sense, twin flame sense, however you want to word it. Worlds upon worlds upon worlds. It's like you're bound together. Okay, I'll read your angel number guidance number or you can Google it in numerology. You have 162. Stay strong and centred in faith. As your prayers regarding your material needs manifest into form. So, anything you're wanting to manifest, uh, your block might be being grounded. You think, in a sense, that's your responsibility because that's family as well. So, let do the work, have a good look at it. It's going to be covered, it will be fine. That's what the cards are saying. Give me a heads up and look after yourself. Bye.